In 1906, San Francisco was a bustling city with fast growth and expansion, booming business that stayed since the gold rush of the mid-19th century. The docks of Fisherman's Wharf were busy importing and exporting goods. The Golden Gate Bridge had yet to be even thought about for construction. Everything was good. Everything was perfect. But then, at 5.12 a.m. on April 18th, 1906, all of that changed. On that day in San Francisco and most of Northern California, a massive earthquake of 7.9 magnitude shook the earth while many people were still in bed, possibly thinking about waking up to start their day. The earthquake reached as far south as San Jose, and even then, the city suffered massive damage. The earthquake destroyed nearly 80% of the city, with estimates then predicting that over 400 people had died. Today, research shows that estimate to have skyrocketed into the thousands, possibly because estimates then did not include casualties inside of Chinatown and elsewhere. Popular areas like Union Square lay in ruins, unrecognizable to those who have seen it prior to the earthquake. Of the 410,000 population of San Francisco, an estimated 227,000 to 330,000 people were left homeless, an astonishing statistic. They were forced to stay in refugee camps that were based in the Panhandle, the Presidio, Golden Gate Park, the beaches, and across the bay. Many of the homeless that could flee San Francisco never returned. Eventually, the United States Army would get involved, bringing much-needed supplies to the survivors and also patrolled the streets to discourage citizens from looting. They would also stand guard at important government buildings like the U.S. Mint Building and the Post Office. Unfortunately, the Army was given orders to shoot on sight of anyone attempting to loot the buildings, and an estimated 500 people were shot and killed on sight by the Army. Before the 1906 earthquake, San Francisco was the largest city in the western United States. After the destruction of almost the entire city, many of the future travelers that pr prior to the earthquake would have settled in San Francisco moved south to Los Angeles, eventually making that city the largest in the western United States. San Francisco was no longer considered the trade and culture center of the west. 